Now this toothbrush is not my toothbrush. you guys are doing great so today is going to be a really quick video about what i take with me when i do go out on a mini trip or mini adventure um when you do go out for a short trip this video is going to be focused on what you can take with you without actually taking all of your makeup and your whole makeup case with you because that would be absolutely ridiculous so what i tend to do is even if i do take an eyeshadow palette that palette has to be multi-purpose. So instead of taking eyeshadow, blusher, and a highlighter, I would try to fit all of that into an existing eyeshadow palette of mine. So I'm going to show you quickly what I do take with me. Now it's pretty difficult to um, move around with kids, which I do a lot. So a lot of my bag space, I need to make room for kids stuff, for toys, for diaper, for kids snacks and drinks so i don't have a lot of space to typically play with in terms of taking things and stuffing my bag with a whole lot of items i i don't have that space so what i tend to do is to um obviously pack things that are multi-purpose and i'll show you something that is a bit funny but i do take it i always have to take it with me so let's get into the video okay so this is what I've got in my makeup bag. This is ideal for traveling because obviously like it's transparent, even though I've just gone on a really short trip. It's basically everything that I need for this trip. So I'm going to show you what's inside. Now my Ziploc is a bit big, but let's get started. So first I've got my Sasha Buttercup Satin Powder. This is an absolute must because if I do use my concealer, I use the Sasha Buttercup to set that concealer down. So this is a must for me. Okay. And then I've got my foundation here, my L'Oreal True Matte Foundation. And I use the color, so I use the Golden Chestnut. That's my shade. This is my everyday absolutely flawless foundation it's really um i really like it because it's not oily or greasy on the skin and it doesn't leave that whole um greasy feeling on your skin it actually stays on very put so i do like this one and then right so this is what i was saying about having a palette that is multi-purpose now the beauty about this palette is it's not configured to just me using it for eyeshadows alone I tend to use them quite multi-purposely and I'll explain what I mean. Now, this color I use for my eyes. I think gold is just an absolute neutral that you should have in your makeup, um, your eyeshadow palette. It's very versatile because I use this for my eyes and I also use it for highlighting and I use it, I use a little bit on the tip of my nose, <laughs> Rudolph the Render style. Um, it's a bit cracked up because I've used out all of these colors, but I tend to scrape a bit of this. If I do want a bit of spackle, I use this for, that's my base shade. That I can also use that as well. I also can use this or that for my transition color. Now I use this darker brown for my smoky eyes. I can also use that for smoky eyes. So you can see that this palette does serve quite a bit and I can also use a tiny bit of that or that for my blush so I really like this palette and it's really it really serves me for the whole multi purpose so here I've got my LA girl pro prep high definition smoothing face primer this primer is really good it keeps your makeup in place it's quite matte so it gives you a very mattified very dry finish to your face keeping all of that oiliness away and then I have my Iman powder now this powder is quite good the beautiful thing about it is it doubles up as a foundation as well and i also use it as a setting powder so this one is really good if you want more coverage all you need to do is use a damp um, sponge or you can put a bit of water on your makeup sponge or your face powder sponge and it gives you much more coverage but i tend to use it with a brush 
for setting my foundation in place and it's optional because that foundation is quite good so i don't need to set it all the time I have this absolute gorgeous lip gloss now it's the palladio lip gloss in the color pure natural this i just got this not long ago and i've just been loving it because it gives you that very nice nude natural finish to your lips it's not heavy and you know makeup absolutely is changing in 2021 so this basically gives me that really subtle finish to my lips two shades of brown pencils the lighter brown goes for my lip liner and then the darker brown is for my filling out my eyebrows so i've got my mascara here which basically is an exquisite lightning and curling mascara it's the bold express one and i really like it it's in black because i'm such a black mascara girl now this is absolutely optional but sometimes my eyes tend to get quite red and itchy so i do travel with my visine eye drops just to keep my eyes quite it's very soothing and calming for my eyes and it tends to brighten them when they do get quite red so here i've got i'm not sure you can see that it's elsa's black eyeliner i really like the eyeliner because it gives me a perfect wing effect so it's in black and i've just started using this one i really like it and i've got um, a kajal eye pencil here again in black and it's the glaza one the winding down to the final bits so here i've got two concealers now they're both the la girl pro concealer now one is in the color fun which is an absolute popular shade for we queens of beauty for the woman of color we've got a really popular shade the font is quite popular um, so I've got the fun, the fun shade here and the warm honey. So the warm honey I use for my bottom brows and the fun I use for my top brows. Um, LA Girl Pro Concealers, they're really good. Um, not too greasy again and they give you a very nice mattified finish to your brows and as a concealer for under your eyes. Okay, so I've got two brushes here. This one with the really soft bristles, this I use for my foundation. I've been using this brush for a while. It's not, it's a regular um, foundation brush I just got from the store. I do like it because it's really versatile. I use this for foundation and for my powder. And then this one with a sharper edge, I use that to give my contouring some definition and I also just use it as a finishing brush as well. It's a bit, it's got a bit of concealer in it. So this one is my Had Angle brush, which I use for my concealer on the top and on the bottom. It's really, really nice. And I always carry it everywhere with me because it's got that sharp edge to it. So it just basically helps to give my brows even more definition as I put on the concealer. The final brushes so these three brushes are very important i'll start with this one so it's basically like a fluffy brush i use this to create the foundation of my eyeshadow um fluffy wideness to it because this one i use for all of my smoky eyes effects i use this for the outer corners of my eye and it does work amazing while i use this one for any lighter colors i'm using like for the inner corner of my eye i use that if i'm using like a gold eyeshadow i use this um this other brush okay so winding down to the couple of bits i told you there was something a bit funny i'm going to save that for last so basically i always take with me a couple of soft sponges this ones are quite dirty so this is the disposable ones um, i've used them for my concealer this morning they work amazingly so all i need to do if i'm going to do if i do reuse them all i do is just wash them and make sure they get dried properly or when i'm done i just basically dispose of them but they're basically your soft sponges that are quite they hold quite a bit of moisture which really helps if you're trying to um, use like your refining powders and all of that 
Now, na last but not least is this toothbrush. Now, this toothbrush is not my toothbrush. <laughs> this toothbrush I use for my edges. Um, I've got the edge brush at home, which I don't like to take in with me. So I just basically grab um, any old, I keep my old toothbrushes so I can use them um, later for edges. So that is all I travel with. That's all of the makeup, all of them. It's, it seems quite a lot, but when you want to go for a particular look, you find that it is so important to get all the stuff you need without over cluttering your travel bag. So I hope you enjoyed the video. That is all I actually pop in my travel bag. Even if I'm going for a couple of days or a month, that's what I typically take with me. Is there anything else that you guys take? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, don't forget to please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Until I come your way again, it's a to-do's and do have a wonderful day. Take care.